we're also going to take a look at some of the interactive activity that we've seen here early in today's trading. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery. He's got a little bit more early on today's tape. Jared? Yes, we're starting, starting out the week on a little bit of a downdraft. You can see everything in the red there, except for the small caps. But let me just show you what's happened the first five trading days into this quarter, because it's looking a lot like 2022 and unlike the first quarter. That's when we had the NASDAQ and tech stocks soaring. So here's the Dow. It's actually up 44 basis points, less than half a percent over this time period into the new quarter. Take a look at the S&P 500 down about three quarters of a percent. The NASDAQ down over two, almost two and a quarter percent and then the Russell 2000 that's off the most two and a half percent so if we are in an era where we're just kind of mimicking last year's trade just remember what that entailed here is a 10-year t-note you'll just want to show you what's happening in the bond market this is a three-month chart it was only Friday that we uh, hit new six-month lows and then we are up 10 basis points here um, that's the 10-year then want to show you the 13-week t-bill that's up eight basis points this closely tracks what the Federal Reserve is doing on the short end of the market it. And here we have those highs that were before the banking panic last year and we're search or excuse me last month and we're uh, surging towards those highs once again. So all of this pain in the picture that we're probably going to get that next rate hike in May and from there, who knows, but the rate cuts are getting priced in steeper and steeper towards the end of the year and early next year. I'm going to do a deep dive on the tech uh, market and expectations for that field in terms of earnings at the beginning of the 11 a.m. hour. So look out for that. Here's energy. Here's our sector action for today. Energy in the forefront, some excitement over that Exxon Pioneer deal. That's up about 1.5%. Then industrials and materials. Those are, those are the only green three, sec three sectors that are in the green there. Tech, not surprisingly, due to the Apple news, we'll get to that in a second. That's down the most off 1.25%, followed by communication services and consumer discretionary. Those round out the uh, mega cap sectors. So Tesla's a standout there. That's down 4%. But I did want to do a little bit of technical analysis on Apple and just want to show you from the peak which was January 1st or 2nd of 2022 last year we have now come and nearly perfectly touched this upwardly uh, sloping trend line we came at it uh, rather quickly so it was arguably overbought here my point is to get through this threshold it's going to take a major catalyst of some sort maybe some good news on the CPI front or maybe just going to have to wait towards earnings season but Apple as uh, one of the two biggest stocks here the other one Tesla if both of those are having a bad day hard to see much good news for the overall market here all right, good stuff there. Our own Jared Blickery charting Apple for us this morning as well here. Some of those lower highs. Hey, I got one technical term for you a week, Jared. I promise Thank you, you that. <laughs>